All right, so welcome to, to uh, my project webinar. As usual, uh, two, this is 217 December 11th, it's uh, the first week of December. And we know that last Friday we have a non farm payroll, okay? Non farm payroll, which is NFP. And it shows a good data, okay? Shows a good data. And uh, uh, meanwhile, uh, let's just check, okay? DXY has this uh, bad pattern completing before the NFP, okay? Before the NFP. So uh, this is telling you that don't try to uh, buy high, okay? Don't buy high, it may fall down, all right? So, uh, <sighs> okay, uh, however, this, this, this four is just a small pullback because generally speaking, we still, let's just comparing uh, the low and the highs, okay? DXY is generally still creating higher highs and the lower highs, uh, sorry, higher lows. Okay, higher highs and higher lows, if you can repeat this, right? It's kind of a, it's still in a, in a channel, right? And in daily chart, in daily chart, we can see that in the uh, 217, November 27th, the DXY has already, okay, touched the 618 point. And also it moves up, okay, moves up, break, break the neckline. Okay, break the neckline. So, although in uh, last uh, Friday, okay, December 8th, the DXY is not doing anything, it's just uh, hanging over there. Today is have some, you know, uh, downside movement, but uh, generally speaking, still the higher lows are created, okay? Let's move to one hour chart. So what does this tell us? This tells us, okay, the DXY is still in the uptrend, right? If you don't know well, whether it is an uptrend, you can, you can by doing this, okay? You can add two moving averages, okay? One is uh, eight EMA, one is eight now EMA, and you can just add the moving average, we'll know that, all right? <coughs> if the price, as long as the price is above 89 EMA, okay, it's still in a generally upper trend, uptrend, all right? The correction is just a, is just a correction to the long-term EMA, okay? And we can see that there's a very big rally in just one hour. Okay, sorry, in the, yeah. <coughs> in, yeah, just one hour ago, there's a big rally and now it's pulling back. So it's still above the two moving averages. So it's still uptrend. So in, in the uptrend, what we're trying to do is when the price, okay, touch the 89 EMA, okay, you want to be a buyer, you want to be a buyer, okay. And let's go to 30 minutes charts. What do you see, right? Okay, you can see that the price worked to the 89 EMA, another rally, now it's pulling back, it's still, it's actually just a breakout, this structure, right? So this is telling us the DX1 may have upside momentum, okay? If, if the lower high, if the lower lows is not created, if it didn't break down this point, okay, 93.73, okay? So in the in the daily chart, in the daily chart, okay, DXY are kind of uh, having some uh, problems of this uh, minor structure of resistance. However, uh, I think the DXY is still going to test this 94.37. It's still testing this this level at least. So just watch the price action at this level. If we can break through, pulls back, we want to buy it again. Okay. Because generally speaking, it's trying to make a double bottom, right? And the latest neckline is here. It's at 90, 95, I think. Okay. If 95 was broken, okay, it will move at least to AB to CD. Okay, AB push to CD. This is AB move, and this is a CD move. All right, guys, can you understand? If it breaks 95 level, okay, that is a very, very possible. Uh, directions so give me one okay Re reply me by one number one if you understand my point okay so dx and y may still continue to goes up if 95 was broken up it may goes to 96.60 at least it may even goes to um, this place the 1.61 extension which is 97.71 Understand? Reply me by one if you understand. Okay, thanks, V. I saw your message. How about the others? 
three months, okay. Hi, Raymond Xiaoguan, long time no see you. Where are you now? Are you still in Malaysia? I'm going back to Singapore at uh, end of this month, and uh, hopefully uh, we can gather, we can make it together. Okay, thank you, Julie. Thank you, Alex. All right, cool. All right, let's move on to Euro Dollar. Okay, Euro Dollar, uh, just now, actually, I want to publish an idea. Okay, you can see here, the Euro Dollar, okay, breaks down the channel, now it's pulling back to the structure. So immediately, what you can do is, you want to take a short, okay, uh, let's go to 30 minutes charts. You will see more clear. Okay, you can see the previous candle okay, break down. Okay, there's a week from 1.1788. Now it's pulling back again. And in one hour chart, you can see that definitely the channel is broken, right? It is uh, outside, outside candlesticks. Okay, the channel, the candlestick break outside. It's a big red candle. Okay. And now this green candle starts shows, however, the highs cannot go back to the high. It was rejected at this structure. So where is the structure? It is actually at 1.1788 to 1.1789. So what you can do is you want to take a short of euro with stop loss above 1.1805. Okay, this is your potential stop loss place, or you can move even a little bit higher, 1.1810. Okay, anyway, it's just about uh, 20, 25 pips, okay? So you can take the risk of 25 pips and aim for down 1.1740 at least or 1.1744, right? That is a possible uh, shorting opportunities, okay? So this is for the euro. And it, in the longer term, in the longer term, what we can see is in daily chart, the latest, the latest the euro ready is finished, okay? This channel is finished, okay? So the euro is outside this channel and it may all the way go back to 1.15, okay? Because that is a previous move from 1.20 to 1.15, okay? After the channel is uh, broken down, okay? We can expect two moves, okay? This one move to the previous low, the second move is even to the AB, AB moves to C, just like, just like PXY. So shorter the euro, short the euro as long as it cannot break the high of 1.1848 okay that is our defense level in a one hour chart definitely you are using different <coughs> structure for you to put stop loss so this will be your targeting entry level right you can want entry here wait for some more pips to move up it's actually just only three pips if you want to enter you can enter now okay if you want to enter short you can enter right now Okay, I have already created my uh, my uh, short in my in my uh, real account. Okay, uh, my stop loss is about one point one eight ten. Right, so if you want to uh, follow this trade, if you understand what I'm talking about, right, uh, you can take a short and aim for one point one four one seven forty six at least. Okay, let's go to sterling dollar. All right, sterling dollar, same thing. Okay, our uh, the previous rally stops at the 0.786 level from the swing high to swing low, right? So what this telling you is it may give you the chance to short from here because for a second, this is a second try. Okay, this is a bull, bullish, this is a bull second try. One, two, goes all the way up, but it failed to break this level. It failed to break this level. So the high is already, you know, going down. It's getting lower highs. And the recent trend is bearish. It's a bearish trend because this structure was broken. So uh, we want to shorten the sterling when there is a pullback, just like 1.3420. Okay, you can, you can hear previously there is a supporting area at here. Okay, see, this is, a, this is supporting, right? This is supporting. So this structure was broken, you see. Support, 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 okay? Then the whole area of support was taken off by this big candle and it pulls back, cannot go above 1.3430. Two, right? This is all close, but it still didn't close outside as 1.3430. So you can still short sterling. As long as 1.34 is uh, 
resist resistance level. Okay. Uh, just to take a up a long run into a long run, we can see that sterling actually is trying to break out this uptrend channel. Okay. Okay. Up, 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 break down a little bit, pulls back, and on goes higher, now breaks down again. So we want to show the sterling is okay. Okay, put the stop stop was about 1.34, uh, maybe 40, and all the way in to 1.31305. Well, let's move to, sorry, let's move to all the dollar. First. Okay, all the dollar, uh, it pulls back and trying to make a double bottom, but I won't consider this as double bottom because, because the second bottom didn't really close uh, uh, much, much higher or it's a clear, clear breakout of the neckline. Okay, now it's actually getting down. Okay, but however, I want to short all the, if you don't have any order tree, you can short all the uh, pending order at 2.7542. All right, so wait for the order to go into this level and short. Okay, we are still using the structure play. Okay, so this is a supporting structure for a very long time. Okay, break down, pulls back. If it can hold the price below 0.747540, you want to be a short and your stop loss should be above this high. Okay, above this high, and you want to take a short. You want to take a short. Okay, so, and uh, let's go to Kiwi Dollar. Okay, Kiwi Dollar today is quite strong because uh, there's some news that uh, you know uh, some people are uh, announcing the new uh, reserves uh, president. Okay, and this guy is kind of a little bit hawkish, uh, so may push the Kiwi Dollar higher. However, the Kiwi Dollar failed to break the structure of this level. Okay, you can see here, uh, okay, this is support, support, okay, support, 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 break down, breaks, retest, cannot go, go beyond the uh, 0.6932, okay, so we just draw, draw the support, uh, the structure is here, okay, and now in the four hour chart, it's actually an inside bar, right, and the inside bar, it, look here, Okay, so this might be an opportunity. If the TV dollar breaks through 0 0.6905, you want to take a short. Are we clear? So plans of opportunities today. This is a four hour inside bar. Okay, what is inside bar? Inside bar means you will find a mother bar. Okay, this is a mother bar here. Okay, and this is a inside bar. Okay, the second one is inside the bar, okay, right, because, because uh, the second bar's high and low is totally inside of the previous mother bar, all right, so what you can do is you want to take a short when the TV dollar breaks through, breaks through the 0 0.6905, okay, when it breaks down, you want to take a short and stop loss above the high and aim for 0 0.6865 or even lower. Okay, that is an inside bar breakout strategy. Okay, a another another possibility is you want to make a, a pullback short, right? So from 30 minutes charts, I don't have a 2618 trade because uh, the neckline was not broken uh, too much, so there might not be a double top yet. However, you can still apply the uh, six one and pullback. You can see here the six one and pullback is quite successful. So, which tells you zero point six nine twenty is a very strong resistance. All right. So, as long as this place is uh, rejecting the price, we can still short and uh, uh, at zero point six nine twenty and aim for aim for uh, at least uh, about uh, sixty pips. All right. <coughs> Hello. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's move on to dollar yen. Okay, um, dollar yen in a daily chart uh, is uh, looks like is uh, uptrend. However, I think the dollar yen is now in a very very uh, big ranging. It's ranging here from one one four point forty nine to one five point five 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 one. This is a very strong resistance level. And uh, uh, the supporting level is here. Okay, so I think the dollar yen won't have, have much more uh, upside or downside uh, room unless until it breaks, it, it 
choose directions, okay? So within these two range, you can choose sell high or buy low. Both is okay, okay? Both, either one is okay, okay? You can take the short from 114 onwards, or you can take the buy from 101.10 onwards, right? It's just the way that how you put the stop loss and what kind of profit you're looking for. Okay, however, you can take, uh, I'm, 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 I'm willing to take a short, if the dollar yen uh, cannot break to uh, 113.60a, because this might be an opportunity, so I just mark this level. Okay, so it's 113.51. Okay, guys, you want to take a short from here. Okay, wait for the price to come up, and you can take a short from 113.51 and aim for 113.24 and 112.96. So this is a potential 61a pullback short. Any questions? Any questions? If not, let's just move on, okay? Okay, let's move on to dollar cap. Okay, our Canadian dollar has a very, very strong move in last week because it actually goes down, goes down very quickly and pulls back very quickly. Let me just uh, figure my VPN or some, something problem. Okay. Let's move to dollar cap. Um, yes, okay. Okay, so this is a dollar cap. Dollar cap has a very nice garlic pattern form, and the one that you can take a short is when the price breaks down the channel. Of here, okay. Let's just do a simple recap of what can we do when you see the ch the chart pattern is going this kind of move in the next time, so that you can be familiar and can and you can take the potential opportunities. Okay, I tell you guys, this is one of my favorite profitable patterns. Do you want to know? Hello, hello, Harris. Okay, I will talk Canada again later. No, I don't always make chart on daily, but this will be a weekly webinar. So uh, I will use the daily chart for long term. Yeah. Okay, you can make, a, uh, I will make a long term uh, guidelines to you, all, all of you guys, but um, you can see I'm switching from one hour chart and daily chart as well. Okay, so always use uh, multiple time frame analysis. Okay, so this is the ups. Rising wedge, right? This is what rising edge, and when you see a breakdown of this wedge, okay, immediately you don't want to you don't want to short, you don't want to chase a chase to short the low, you want to wait for a pullback, and where most likely the price may pull back to use the Fibonacci tool to tell you, okay, well, one point two eight eight eight, so you just patiently wait for the price to go to this level and short it, stop loss above the previous high, and sometimes you just catch the crazy move, all right? And bam, this is a big winner, all right? Similar things, it happened, it, this pattern just happened over and over again, all right? Let me just show you another one. This one, same. You see here, we have a, small rising channel or triangle or whatever, whatever you call this, okay? I don't care. I don't care the pattern's name. You can call it a wedge or, tri or triangle. As long as it breaks down, see here, breaks down, right? The whole, the whole small or upside move, right? The low is, lower low is created. The lower low is created, right? And how you want to join the trade? What, guess, what, what are the potential move of the next direction, of course, it may goes up. However, it breaks down first. Why will the price breaks down if broken the upside move channel, right? So you can wait or it's continue to move down. So can this tell me you that why right, the, uh, the, the upside move is gone? Right? I think these three candles can tell you why right, something happens. No more bullish buyers at the high, 
right? A lot of sellers is there. And what we can do is we don't do sell low. We don't to chase the price. We want to wait for the pullback. If I continue going down, so we just draw the line here. Okay, pullback starts. Pullback starts. At this time, guys, what can you do is simply use the Fibonacci level, okay, draw to the swing high to swing low, and you can wait for the price to touch the 618 and just take a short. Stop loss above the, the previous high. And bam, you just have a nice, nice downtrend, right? You see here how, how far it can go, okay? That is a beautiful move, right? Okay, let me just show you another one here. Same thing, okay? You see a long-term downtrend line was broken, right? Also kind of, uh, you know, a wedge, okay? Breaks up, breaks up, continue breaks up. And you want to join the next trade. What you can do is you draw the Fibonacci level and then you measure it. Okay, see here, guys, do you see this? Do you see this beautiful touch of 618? Are well, you buy here, stop loss above the, below the previous low, and you just catch a beautiful move, right? Understand? So, do you think it is very, very profitable patterns? I hope every people should just learn this map, learn this method, right? Be it you are my students or not, right? I'm just sharing, sharing you this profitable patterns for free. Okay, as long as you come to listen to my webinar. Okay, because this pattern is so powerful and it's so simple to use. When you I keep the TP very simple, you just measure your risk, right? Always use this one to two or one to three to measure your risk. If your risk is this this much, you just Calculate when it can go give you a three times return. See here, this is risk reward three. So you can keep, you can take some profit of one to one to two, take some profit at one to three, and then close by a majority of your trade and just hold it, just hold it, right? You don't need to, you don't need to set a hard target for this kind of trade. As nice as gives you more than one to two or one to three risk reward ratio, because you know by only playing out this strategy, right? Maybe the successful rate, right? Let's just calculate the simple mathematical questions, right? Maybe your success, your winning rate is only fifty percent. Okay, so I give you ten times of doing this. Are zero point six one eight. Pull back after a wedge or triangle or downtrend or bull trend is fish. Okay, this is let, let's just do a simple mathematic questions, and this is how we get, how we are going to play, how we are going to make money in this market like professionals. Right? I don't need a 100% ratio to win. If my winning rate is only 50%, and I do 10 times doing this 618 pullback, after a wedge or triangle or downtrend or bull trend is finished, I just doing the same thing every time that you see that, okay? And when you, when you lose, <coughs> say, when you lose, you lose 2% of your capital. Then when you win, Right, you can win two times or three times of your risk, which is four percent or six percent. Right? Tell me what is the result? Five times win, okay? Five times win times let me just put let me just put four percent is twenty percent. Five times lose two percent, right? It's ten percent negative. is negative, right? So what will be the result, guys? Tell me, 20% minus 10% equals to 10%. You still win 10% of your capital.
So this is the key. This is uh, how we are going to win in the long run. Not by one trade, not by only one single trade. Oh yeah, I catch a 618 level. Wow, the next one you fail, you say, oh my God, this is not going to work. I'm never, I'm never going to use it again. Okay, that's not correct. You don't, you don't make money by one trade or two trade. Right? You make money by a lot of trade. And each trade, you just take 2% risk. However, you don't need to be 100% right. You just need to be 50% right. But your target is always two times or three times or even higher than your risk. Okay, Andy, Andy said, all oh, may have a similar chance. Yes, this just, okay. Let me just recap you about the patterns again. So this time, listen carefully, right? When you see a downtrend, when you see a downtrend, my God, where's my mouse? Okay. When you see a downtrend is broken, okay? Boom, it flies. Okay, and in very low location. Don't chase high, because if you chase high, you are losing. Wait for the pullback. Wait for it to touch the 618 level. Okay? And buy here, buy here. Okay, TP1 here, TP2 here, TP3 there. Okay, and measure the risk you are taking. Okay, see where is one to one, one to two, and one to three. And check left side. Where is the major resistance? If the resist resistance is here, but still can give you a one to three risk reward ratio. Take the trade. Okay. All right. So that's the beautiful profitable patterns that I want to share to you guys if you can understand. All right. I think all my students should be understanding this point because I have to teach you how to use Fibonacci tools, how to identify downtrend or uptrend, right? Can just see here, still the same thing. Guys, it's still the same thing. Okay, boom, break down, break down, break down, lower lows, lower highs. So what, what, what do you see, guys? What is this? What is this? Can you tell me what is this? Should we make the break even or let the trade go? Take some profit and let the half or let, let the remaining be break even. Very simple. Take profit, take some profit and let the other trade to break even and just let it run. Yes, it's a wedge, right? And it's downtrend. And what happened here? What happened here? Do you see this downtrend breakout? The downtrend was broken. Do you agree? Yes, broken, right? And the next thing is don't buy, don't buy the high, don't buy the breakout. A lot of people want to buy the breakout and they force themselves to buy at a very high place, at a very high price. And their stop was super big. And when there's when the correction happens like this, like this, like this, oh my God. And those people will cry, you know. And those people who bought from here will be crying, oh my God, oh my God, it's not going up. Why every time when I buy it, it's going down. Oh my God, it's such a big red candle, engulfing, right? Engulfing. Like it's just scared, I'm so scared. Will it break down again? Oh my God, some people told me this downtrend. I shouldn't be buying, I should be buying. God damn it. And they cry. And when the, when the price continues to go down, they sell. They cut loss or they just be, you know, they'll never become a buyer because they say, oh my God, it's going down. It's definitely not a, not a bullish market. You see, it, it, it goes up here and no, now, now it's just going down. But what we do is we clearly know what we're going to do, right? We just use the 618, correct? Wait patiently. Okay, here, guys, tell me, can you buy? Can we buy here at this 618 level? And ask yourself, ask yourself, if you bought from here, 
and your stop loss is in it's just below here, right? About 40 pips. This is 40 pips risk. And you decide how much lots you're going to trade. A 40 pips, if you trade one lot, is about $400, right? Say, for example, if your, your cap is 10,000, and 2% is only $200, so you should trade 0.5 lots here. Stop loss at 1.2619, and you just take $200 risk. And then you buy here, and boom, it just flies. Okay? And check what kind of risk reward ratio you're, going, you're taking. All right? This is your risk. Right? This is my risk below, below the pin, right? And then where is the one to two? Where is the one to two? Now, okay, here. Two times of risk for ratio is here. Where is one to three? Three times is here. What, where is one to five? One to five, just measure, just keep measuring it. Okay, it's here. Boom. Okay, and where is the major resistance? Where is the major resistance? Here, right? I told you, structure major resistance right so is it okay for you to take the trade from 618 and all the way hold it to 1.2850 can you or is it possible the price will just go back to the major resistance despite it moves crazy moves downside so fast and check the risk for ratio oh my god when the price goes to 1.2850 it already gives you one one to five risk for ratio. So let me just ask you again, next time you see this, this kind of patterns, are you going to take the trade? Are you willing to take the trade? Or do you have this courage to buy the trade, although the price is moving down, although the price is still moving down, although there's a big engulfing candle happens? Ask yourself this question. So next time when you see a profitable pattern like this, trade it with no scare. Anyway, you're just going to risk 2% of risk. Don't put all your funds into one trade, or please. Okay? Don't say, oh my God, Jack, this, this pattern is so powerful. I want to all in. I want to show hand 10 lots, 100 lots, right? All my savings into this trade. No, don't do that because we only have maybe a 50% winning ratio, right? We may only have 50% winning ratio. You are not going to, you're not going to gambling whether this trade will give you the correct result. You're not gambling that. Well, but what you are trading is, you are using a small risk to get a beautiful five times reward, 2% risk and a five times reward and that's why that's how we can make money that's how the other professional traders do okay don't chase high a lot of new a lot of new newbie take the trade when the strong candle moves up and all they are going to willing to buy the high right let them buy the high because i don't care whether there are novice traders comes in as long as i have a trade before them Right? They will just push the price up, and when the price go to this level, I will take profit, right? And now the dollar cat is go is back to the resist level, okay? It didn't really put close above one point two nine. However, the trend is up, so don't short. Buy the pullback. Where is some pullback? Maybe here. You can consider a very good supporting structure so wait for the price to come back if the price never come back what to do don't trade just watch it okay okay goes to the last topic of spx 500 okay the smp strong correction okay to here right and it just touched the previous structure of this 26 2600 you remember the structure okay 
and look at the last trade I, I see in the S&P. Okay, I see plan A, break new high, wait for pullback to buy. Here, plan A, All right? It goes up, do you see that? Okay, it breaks 2006. Plan A tells you to break 2006, wait for pullback and buy. You see here, break up, buy, buy the, buy the pullback, boom. Right, 600 moves, 600 pips move. And what to do now? Now it's back to the similar structure. So don't chase high. It's closing to the resistance. Closing to the resistance. Don't buy into the resistance. Okay. <coughs> and do you want to short? Now not really because it's still upside move. So what you can do is wait patiently for the channel to be to be broken, right? Wait patiently for the channel to be broken. Right? If it breaks down. Pull back to 618 and then you want to short. Simple. Okay. Okay. Just let the channel broken and pull back and short. No, you don't want to buy. The price, the price already ready to get high. Don't, don't you don't want to buy and neither you don't want to, you don't want to short. Because shorting will be risky if the trend is still up. And buy is also risky because it's high place and it's a uh, high location and with, with a lot of structure up here to sell, right? And you don't buy until it reach to this beginning of this move. I mean, this time you can buy at this level you want to buy. And that's also your target of your shot, okay? Is that correct? In Kiwi dollar, we have a 2618 and the garlic pattern begins to form. Are uh, what kind of a 2618? Are you talking about bullish or bearish? Bearish. Okay. Okay, go good. My sterling yen is doing good. Bearish, right? Let me just see. Bearish? Uh, yeah, we are right. There is a potential guardy, but uh, the X point may not be so good. Okay, however, I'm thinking that uh, what you can do is uh, you need to be patient to watch the price action at this level. Don't use harmonic pattern yet because uh, there are a lot of uh, harmonic patterns. Okay, you can use this one as harmonic patterns and that give you a butterfly. Okay, this will give you a butterfly. If you are choosing this leg, it's going to give you guard pick. Yes, you're right. But this guard is not going to give you a lot of money because it's uptrend. And look at the location, it's low location. So don't short, don't short. Uh, for the Kiwi dollar, i rather, wow, well, as, I, as I see, i rather wait for the price to consolidate a little bit, okay? I will need to see some price action to show if testing uh, this level or this level. Okay, it, it may break a little bit higher than 0.6947. Uh, okay, you can see here strong move up, small small correction. Now the price moves up again, so it, it looks like still going up, and then you might take a short. Okay, so that's my suggestion. Don't show it yet. What about euro dollar? Yeah, I'm telling you the euro dollar can short uh, right at the beginning of my webinar today. Yeah, you can find the recordings later. You can short euro. Okay, it looks like it's breaking the channel and now it's pulling back again. And testing the high, but if the price cannot go above the high, you want to take a short. Okay, you see here, strong moves up, strong moves up, and now it's touched the 618 level. Uh, break through it, right? You want to take a short, just take some goes above the previous high and see whether it can come down. Okay, 
but, but now is not uh, the price looks quite strong of this uh, price action. Okay. Loading. Okay. See here. It breaks down the structure and pulls back, but this pullback is too strong and it goes higher. So that means this this structure is not resi resistance anymore. Now the price is trying to break this high. So maybe you need to watch for a few seconds to take the trade. If you not, if you not have uh, you have not entered yet, uh, from what I can see, this is very too strong already. We continue to testing. We may continue testing the channel. Okay. So here, oh my God, it's break. Just break through. So don't show yet. We test the channel. Okay. So you need to draw the channel like this and see whether you want to test the one point one eight one four. Okay. You see the price action of this place. And I think it has already touched the 2.886 level. Uh, yeah, yeah touch, just touched the 2.618 level, level uh, 886 level. Let me just check the RSI. If the RSI is giving me some bearish divergence, I think it's okay. See here whether it can give us some bearish divergence. Where's my outside? I think the trading the server is getting slow. It's not coming. In certain mid charts, it really have a, it has this uh, bearish divergence. It really has. So if you want to take short, I think it's okay. Yeah. And the correct stop loss should be above this 1.1 or 4. Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe there are some news are coming out. I don't know why they just uh, ready so fast, but. Uh, or uh, in, in 30 minutes charts, you can definitely trade this bearish divergence with some loss above, above the previous high and see whether it can come down again. Uh, anyway, you are still risking, you are still risking uh, this much and it's possible to close to here. So it's about one, one to four, right? <clears throat> okay, so that will be end of this webinar. I think I've covered a lot and I have shared with you guys a very, very powerful 618 how you trade 618 after you see a breakout of the trend you see a breakout of the triangle wedge and catch the move catch the next potential move before the trend starts all right do you think it may close the gap maybe uh sarah already answered the question of aussie dollar if you don't hear me you can uh see my recordings later i'm going to upload it in the youtube right so i won't explain uh, explain again because it's a repeated questions i have already covered all the dollar i need some gold okay gold gold is our uh, kind of uh, ranging it's a ranging box so gold is actually having a strong 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 Resistance at what one to fifty one to one to fifty two. So just watch out for this uh, price section at, at this level. Okay, two scenario. Okay, goes up, cannot break through, just you know short. 
second goes up, okay, break out, go back, you want to buy. Okay, very simple and aim to one two sixty. The best shorting gold place will be one two sixty. That would be ideal shorting. Very short from here. Catch a long run, right? But if the gold cannot break one two fifty one, you can want to take a short and stop loss about one two fifty three. That's easy. Easy trade. All right. So thank you guys. That's all for today. And uh, I will go to upload the video to the YouTube soon. So you need to go to the YouTube channel. Uh, my YouTube channel, you just search for project. Okay. Search for project in my YouTube. Welcome, guys. Yeah, it's good to see you guys together. Uh, I think we just have, oh my God, it's uh, more than 56 people in my, in my, in my room. Thanks for coming. All right, just keep practicing, keep, keep checking whether the chart can give you some, you know, give you some hint, right? The 618 pullback hint of the structure, breakout pullback hint, right? Remember last time you see here, why the price reversed at here? It's actually, it's a very beautiful of a 618 pullback short, okay? Still the same thing, break down the whole, just break down the whole channel, right? Breaks down so dramatically. And it just shoot all the way back to 618 and you can take a shot from here and you win. Right, you win a lot of money. Simple and effective, okay? All right, see you later, thank you guys. And if you want to learn how to trade professionally, you can go to my website, okay? This is my website. Okay, harmonishofasia.com. And you know, and you, you will know that what kind of a topic I'm teaching. I will, I will, I will help you to clear all these kind of pro, uh, problems, right? You don't have a plan, you don't understand the market, you don't know why my, your entry price so bad, trading is so difficult, right? And how to earn money from those winning trade is like the, this two day course and now it's available online. Okay, then you can learn my course from YouTube. Okay, just click the sign up button, right? Just click, it. that's all, right? Okay, thank you guys, see you. Yeah, I will try to send you more setups in Skype, uh, but uh, it's depending, really depending on my time, because I'm so busy this December, a lot, a lot of events is coming, and tomorrow I'm going to fly to another city in China to teach a course. Uh, I will try to keep your message, right, to, to answer your message in the Skype. Good night.